so so far what we said is we created the channel and we applied VDS we haven't explored the voltage current relationship well there is two dominating regions we have to discuss the first one is what we call the triod region or the linear region the triod region or the linear region occurs if VGS minus the threshold voltage remember we call this what the overdrive voltage if the overdrive voltage is bigger than VDS okay so I want you to see the picture across the transistor because this is very important you're gonna analyze the analog circuits by inspections a lot of times remember that in the early electronics courses that's what drove a lot of the students nuts because we said that we electrical engineers we got to see the electronic circuits by inspection in fact that because electronics is about approximations and we're going to explore that shortly in today's and next lecture that a lot of times you can analyze analog circuits by inspection so what I want you to do I want you to be able to visualize the transistors as we go through and then analyze the circuit based on your visualization what we saying is VDS the voltage from the drain to the source is smaller than less than VGS minus the threshold voltage the voltage from the gate to the source minus the threshold voltage that is the overdrive voltage the effective voltage how strong the channel is see I want you to visualize that VGS tells you how strong the channel is that that voltage is bigger than VDS that means VDS too small right so VDS is smaller than VGS minus VT visualize that on the transistor if this is the case then you are in the triad region the linear region then the current voltage relationship is given as follow you must memorize this I never forgot it ever since I was an undergrad ID equals to mu n times C O X times W over L times you open a bracket VGS minus the threshold voltage that is the overdrive voltage how strong the channel is times VDS that is the voltage from the drain to the source VDS tells you how much am I gonna pump into the transistor right so the stronger VDS the more current you have minus one half VDS squared I mean the derivation of this equation is well studied I'm gonna skip it most textbooks have it it's important to visualize it and see it especially in semiconductor physics but I'm really interested in designing the analog circuit so if you wanted to know how is this equation is developed I would recommend you to read any classical textbook let me talk about these parameters where a mu of n is called the electrons mobility in the channel that channel we created has an electron mobility in it COX is the capacitance of the silicon dioxide if you go back to the structure remember that we said that the body has the lowest voltage and the gate has a positive voltage and there is an insulator between that's called the silicon dioxide that is a capacitance so COX is the capacitance of the silicon dioxide W is the width of the channel how deep the channel is how deep the transistor is and L is the effective length of the channel so we're gonna stress that it is the effective length of the channel VGS is the voltage from the gate to the source or it is the gate to source voltage which means it is VG minus VS VTH is the threshold voltage is the minimum voltage required to create the channel VDS is the voltage from the drain to the source which is VD minus VS so what we are interested now is we would like to plot ID versus VDS for different VGS in the triad region so let's assume we have a transistor 
the transistor has a constant dimensions we already used one transistor we went to a supplier we bought an NMOS transistor we bring it home and we said we want to test it what we gonna do we go on to vary VGS and we go on to vary VDS and we would like to measure the current so the first thing we're gonna do is we will apply one particular value of VGS and we would like to vary VDS so what we do we start to see that the current will behave somehow linear it's linearly proportional to VDS keep in mind that in the triad region VDS is small VGS minus V threshold voltage is bigger than VDS that means VDS is small that means VDS squared is ignored that means the voltage current relationship is somewhat linear for small VDS so you start to see that the voltage VDS versus ID is linear by increasing VDS the current will increase linearly for small values of VDS and as you start to increase VDS the square terms start to take an effect so you start to see that squared shape as VDS increase if I increased VGS for another value of VGS so if I increase VGS now when I change VDS the current becomes higher why because the channel is stronger that means the resistivity of the channel is smaller that means more current will flow through the transistor for the same VDS so that's what you see by increasing VGS now the current ID is higher for the same VDS then if you apply a third VGS that is higher than the first two you start to see that the current increases even higher for the same VDS